subsequently. Political scientist Dennis Springer has questioned the judgment of U.S. President Donald Trump following the targeted killing of Iran's top security and intelligence official, Qasim Soleimani. The head of the elite Quds Force of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps and other high-ranking officials of Iranian-backed Iraq militias were killed in a drone airstrike outside Baghdad International Airport on Friday, January 3, 2020. While some are stunned by what many observers view as a geostrategic blunder, Springer says he is not surprised. He points to the emergence of the political ideology of right-wing populist leaders in the West, of which Donald Trump is seen as a poster child for the foreign policy missteps. But for Springer, Trump appears to have gone beyond the pale. Analysts say the U.S. president who ran on ending what he called forever wars in the Middle East appears to be faltering on grand strategy. Sometimes I sit and I tend to think, if this guy is a madman, uh, it seems as though that's what we're having in politics these days. Um, I see it in England with Boris. Um, I'm seeing it in the Caribbean. Um, um, I won't mention the countries, but we are seeing it. And consequently, this guy, if he thinks that Tehran will just sit back, Iran, sorry, will sit back and accept what he did when he was saying that Obama was one planning that to be re-elected, he has shown himself that what he's done is almost what he was talking about. U.S. officials claim Soleimani is responsible for the deaths of hundreds of American troops during the Iraq war and has fueled Iranian expansion throughout the Middle East through proxy wars waged by armed militias. Trump and the Pentagon also allege that the general was plotting imminent future attacks. The Iranians have vowed to avenge the death of the senior official who was a revered figure in this country. Like Kettle calling the cold pot black, but Obama did not do it, but he has now done it. And I will tell you something, you will see that even our tourism from America will suffer because the Americans now will be sitting at home because they'll be too scared to venture out. Springer is adamant that this geopolitical event could have broad implications for the tourism industry. Consequently, we now may very well suffer from um, um, the overseas uh, uh, tourism that's coming from America, the Americans that I'm talking about that comes here regularly. The confrontation between the U.S. and Iran has been escalating since President Trump abandoned the Obama-era nuclear deal and imposed harsh economic sanctions on the Islamic Republic in May 2018. Last summer, the Iranians shot down a U.S. spy drone, attacked oil tankers in the region, and were believed to be behind a drone strike on a major oil facility in Saudi Arabia. Chuakim Deplacy, HDS News Force.